with the terminal examinations and half yearly examinations coming closer, a whole lot of students are having problems in maths topic quadratic equations and this is one of their doubts. Now if this is one of your doubts, then you pay attention and watch the video till the end. If you have any doubts in Physics, Chemistry, Maths, Class 9 or 10 ICSE, type them in the comments below and I'll solve them as soon as possible. Okay, so let us begin with this. If 4 into bracket x minus 1 upon x whole square plus 8 into bracket x plus 1 upon x is equal to 29. Now you can see that there is a square, so there is second degree here. And this is again a term by itself. Only thing is that x minus 1 upon x this is and this is x plus. So did we understand the difference here? This is minus and this is plus. So they are not the same terms repeated. So there must be something that will relate this with this. So let us look at it. If I have x minus 1 upon x whole square that will give me x squared plus 1 upon x squared minus 2. Agreed? And if I take x plus 1 upon x whole square, it will give me x squared plus 1 upon x squared plus 2. Now, what is the connection between x plus 1 upon x whole square and x minus 1 upon x whole square? If I subtract x minus x whole squared from here, I will have here plus 2 and here the middle term minus 2 will get added up and I will have that equal to 4. What have I used? I have used the identity a plus b whole squared minus a minus b whole squared is equal to 4ab which is what we used in class 9 for factorization chapter. Alright, so now can you see we have x minus 1 upon x bracket square that means we need this value so we will have x plus 1 upon x whole square minus 4 will be equal to x minus 1 upon x whole square we have transferred this that side and this 4 we have taken this side all right now this is here so we are going to rewrite the equation which is given as 4 and in place of this we will write x plus 1 upon x whole square minus 4. Did we get that? This is here and this is this value. Okay then plus 8 into x plus 1 upon x and that is equal to 29. So now you are able to see this and can you see this? Both of them are the same thing. So if I say let x plus 1 upon x equal to m, then this whole expression becomes 4 into bracket. This becomes m squared minus 4. And here it becomes plus 8m and now let us bring this this side so it becomes minus 29 and that's equal to 0. Can we get a quadratic equation? Open the brackets. Correct? 4m squared minus 16 plus 8m minus 29 equal to 0. Correct? So that will give us 4m squared plus 8m minus when you add this 9 and 5 15 so it becomes 45 and that equal to 0 now it looks like a proper quadratic equation right so what is our product the product is this multiplied by this so it is minus 45 into 4 and because it is minus product this plus 8 is going to give you the difference between the factors so let us check it out this is 9 into 5 and this is 2 into 2 uh, difference is 8 can you see this 5 to 10 and 18 can you see that so 9 into 2 is 18 
so we will have the factors as 18 and 10 the difference is plus so 18 will be having plus sign and 10 will be having minus sign so these are going to be our factors we are going to split the middle term like so so 4m squared plus 18m minus 10m minus 45 equal to 0 group this and this so it becomes 2m into bracket 2m plus 9 you know how to do this right minus 5 into bracket 2m plus 9 that is equal to 0 and now we will take this common here so that gives us come on I hope you are writing same time if you are writing write in the comment box yes we understand and we are writing now we'll use the zero product rule and we'll say 2m plus 9 equal to 0 or 2m minus 5 equal to 0 correct so that is going to give us 2m is equal to minus 9 or 2m is equal to 5 and therefore we will have m equal to minus 9 upon 2 or m is equal to 5 upon 2. Did you understand this much? If you understood this much, write over there thumbs up and you could even subscribe to my channel okay because i keep solving different doubts and also i keep solving the papers for y'all so that y'all can benefit and y'all can get your full marks okay at this point i also want to tell you that my offline coaching classes have reached full capacity i will not be able to enroll any more students offline however due to so many parents calling me i'm making my classes available online for the first time ever to enroll to the online classes and learn at your own pace, click on the link below and I'll see you in class. Now, some of you will say that ma'am, this is M but we are supposed to be finding X, correct or no? What is our question? Look over here, find the value of X and this has been given to you. So you are going to substitute the value of M because we said let X plus 1 upon X be equal to M. So, we will say resubstituting m equal to x plus 1 upon x. Therefore, x plus 1 upon x is equal to minus 9 upon 2 or x plus 1 upon x which is the value of m that is equal to 5 by 2. Okay, so far so good. I hope you are getting this. Alright, now if I have to simplify this, I will need to take the LCM here so I'll take x squared plus 1 LCM there like so and here also the same thing x LCM so x squared plus 1 like so okay now let's cross multiply so it will become 2x squared plus 2 equal to minus 9x or here it will be cross multiply you can do this on your own you can keep the video on pause and you can write down the step one step at a time and then you can check back with my work so therefore now can you see this is also a quadratic equation so we need to take all the terms one side and say that equation is equal to zero or here what will it be did you get that right write in the comments you got it right you can send one thumbs up sign now let us look at the factors can you see over here 2 2 is 4 the product is 4 and the sum is 9 so it's not going to give you any uh, factors as such you will have to use the formula method let us see what we can do over here let me just make a column here this side and I will say here my product is 2 2 is 4 so plus 4 and because the product is plus I will get the sum of factors as minus 5 so I will have minus 4 into minus 1 giving us plus 4 and if you add them you get minus 5. So this is doable by factorization method. So let us write it 2x squared 
minus 4x minus x plus 2. Understanding, right? Let us group this. So 2x into bracket x minus 2 and here minus 1 into bracket x minus 2 and that's equal to 0. And now we will take this as the common factor and we will have x minus 2 into 2x minus 1 equal to 0. And therefore I will have x minus 2 equal to 0 or 2x minus 1 equal to 0. We are using the zero product rule. So x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 2x will be equal to 1. So x will be equal to 1 by 2. Now we got these two values. Now here because you cannot factorize this using normal factorization we'll have to use the discriminant which is b square minus 4ac. We'll have to first find the value of that. So let us see our discriminant will be b square means b is this coefficient of x means 9. 9 square minus 4 into a is this and c is this. a is this and c is this. If you do not understand what I am talking about then you uh, look at my video of quadratic equations how to solve them and that will give us 81 minus this is 4 4 16 that gives us 65. So our x is going to be first we write the formula which is minus b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4ac upon 2a. So we write the formula first and then we will substitute the values. So minus b, minus b means minus 9 plus or minus under root 65 and that upon 2 into a. What is our a here? This is 2. Okay. So we will get it as minus 9 plus or minus. This will be 8 point something. Can you find the value of 8 point something? You can use the log table and you can get the value of the square root of 65. If you do not know how to find the square root, I will send the link over here somewhere here on the right side so that you will be able to understand how to find the square root of 65. Use your logbook and you get it as 8.062 and that upon 4. So you will now have two values minus 9 plus 8.062 upon 4 or it will be minus 9 minus 8.062 upon 4 and that will give us here uh, minus 9.000 and this will be plus 8.062 and that will give us 0 point here it will be 8 3 and 9 so point 0.938 upon 4 or here 9 and 8 is 17 so minus 17 point zero six two upon four now when you divide it will be zero point four two eight four three is twelve four four sixteen and four five is twenty or here it will be minus four four sixteen uh four two is eight then we have four 6 24 and 4 5 20 4 5 20 so that should do so our x value is going to be the solution set and that solution set will have four values which is the least value this one so minus 4.2655 comma now this is 0.5 so this is smaller than 0.5 so I'll write that as the next one and then I will write half which is 0.5 yeah so we'll write it as 0.5 and then we will have the largest one here which is 2. So we will get 4 values and that is our answer. 
Now remember sometimes they will ask you to round it off to two decimal places or two SFs. So you follow the instructions as it is given in the question and sometimes they may just stop at this minus 9 plus or minus root of 65 upon 4. So that's still okay. If they stop at this probably they will ask you for the MCQ type of question. So I hope you have been benefited by the solution of this right in the comment box. If you have any doubts in physics, chemistry, maths, class 9 or 10 ICSE, type them in the comments below and I'll solve them as soon as possible. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Bye.